Hi, good morning there, YouTubers. I'll give you a little update on uh, my Enphase Energy System. I've had my first 215 inverter issue. Um, it's been, I don't know, messing up for over a month. And once again, Enphase customer service has been outstanding. They sent me a new inverter, which I just put on. And if you look at the back of this original one, you'll see it's got a big E on it. It has one mounting tab, and it has a lug for grounding. There is the new unit I just put on. It doesn't have the E on the back. It has no provision for uh, grounding, and it has three holes. I don't know if you can see that through the cables. The center hole is what they, they used to have, and now it's got one slotted hole on either side, which is definitely an improvement. The ratings are just a, a little bit different, too, I noticed on the unit. So obviously it was upgraded for a reason. And again, there's the new one. And here's an older one that's still going. Well, they're only two, two years plus old. And again, there's a little ground lug sticking through. That's what it looks from the front side. That's the ground. That's been removed. They've obviously changed it. This one came back to life, oddly enough. And now it's getting sent back. So, also an update on my 210 inverters. I've also lost a, uh, another 210, which was replaced. And I think I may have another one failing. It's running 20 to 30 watts out of whack from all the rest of them. They're pretty much within one or two... Uh, watts of power, or five watts of power I should say, on the, during the day, which you can see on my system, it's open to the public if you want to look at it. So anyway, I got a green blinking light, which means it's working. Uh, I'll have to contact them to uh, turn it on to my array, because I can't seem to get these to show up. So anyway, there's an update, my first 215 fail, and once again replaced by Enphase with a newer upgraded unit. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, if anybody's having issues, maybe this will be good to know. Alright, bye-bye. Okay, hi there YouTubers. Uh, this is just a little update on my uh, in-phase units. I've replaced uh, two of my 210s, which are still going strong. They may even have been redesigned. And I also lost recently uh, a 215 unit, which I'm going to show you that one now. Oh, that's the wrong one. It's over here. I think. I'm confused now. Yes. That's the new style 215. And they now have three holes. And you see it's just black. These are my original in-phase units with the big E on it, and they only had one hole for one bolt. So, I had one fail, and it would come back online, and, and it would go off and come back, and they just sent me a new one. And they changed them. They no longer uh, need an external ground on the body. They're in, internally uh, safe, I guess, now. You don't have to put the uh, ground on it. That's what, that's what this screw right here is. There's a copper wire going to it. You don't need to do that anymore. So anyway, I was just giving an update. Well, once again, their uh, service has been outstanding. Customer support is really good. They just take care of you. So I'm thinking about uh, taking down this four-panel unit over here and replacing it with one of my six-panel trackers. Because I can, I have room for two more Enphase uh, units on the 20 amp service I ran into the house. I just need to buy two more panels, two more inverters. So I don't know. I'm putting this property up for sale. I don't know if that's a wise move to do, but who knows how long it'll take to sell this place. So maybe it is a good idea. Anyway, just some rambling thoughts. And uh, other than those issues. It's going on three years. That's minimal problems and excellent support from the Enphase people. All right. Signing off. Thanks for watching.